cold and rain to bring in November in Rochester. Perfect football weather, some would say. The 15th ranked St. John Fisher College football team hosted the Buffalo State Bengals on Saturday in a critical Empire 8 Conference matchup. First quarter, Bengals first drive, Dan Serignis off a flea flicker connects with Ryan Carney for 46 yards and a first and goal at the Fisher 6. Next play, running back Rich Pete takes the pitch on the outside and gains 6 yards for the touchdown. 7-0 Buffalo State. Ensuing Fisher possession, Tyler Fenty caps off a drive marred by penalties on both sides with a 5-yard touchdown run to the outside. Game tied at 7. After the Bengals take the lead back on a 45-yard field goal from Mark Montana, the Cardinals answer as Fenty hands it off to Tony Fusco and Fisher's leading rusher will not be stopped. 54 yards later, it's a touchdown, and Fisher has a 14-10 lead. Second play of Buff State's next drive. Serignis throws downfield and finds Carney again, who beats Brandon Fuentes, his defender, and gives the Bengals a 17-14 lead on a 73-yard touchdown reception. And that was just the first quarter. Cardinals first possession in the second, Fenty fakes the handoff and is hit as he throws, but not before he finds Mike Colicchio for the 33-yard touchdown. 21-17 Fisher at the half. Third quarter, after Fenty rushed for a 3-yard touchdown to make it 28-17, a punt from Buff State's Joe Going is partially blocked by Sammy Hasen, and Rob Riggio returns the ball eight yards. Fisher with a chance to seal it deep in Bengal territory. But on the next play, Fenty throws to the end zone and a pass intended for Colicchio is intercepted by Ish Wright for the touchback. The pick was Fenty's first of the season and first since the national quarterfinals last year against Mary Harden Baylor. Fourth quarter, Buff State deep in Fisher territory, Serignis takes it to the right himself and scampers into the end zone from five yards out. Rich Pete would run it in for a two-point conversion to cut the Buff State deficit to three at 28-25. Fourth play of the ensuing Fisher drive, Fenty fakes, then looks deep and finds Colicchio again for the Webster Schrader grads' second 33-yard touchdown of the day, 35-25 Cardinals. Late in the game, Buff State with a fourth and one on the one-yard line, and the defense holds, led by Brandon Miller and Mike Donitson. Fisher would run out the clock, and the Cardinals take the win 35-25 and improve to 7-1 overall, 5-1 in the Empire 8. The Fisher offense racked up a season-high 583 yards and was led by the usual suspects. 318 yards passing from Fenty, 174 yards and two touchdowns receiving from Colicchio, and 158 yards on a career-high 29 carries from Fusco. The Cardinals are back in action on Saturday, November 8th at 1 p.m when they host the Ithaca College Bombers at Growney Stadium. A win by Fisher would clinch at least a share of the Empire 8 Conference Championship for the first time since 2009. It was a good game, obviously. Uh, our offense bailed us out a little today, but you know I think our defense played well. We just gave up a couple of big plays that really kept Buff State in there. Uh, you know, other than that, I think we played great. I think we held their running back, you know, to a season low this year, and uh, it's it's pretty exciting how how we did play. And if we cut out those, um, you know, those those deep ball threats or those big plays, you know, we're a pretty dangerous team. Buff State, you know, they had to leave it on the line. They already got a couple losses. We knew they were going to give us their best shot. We fought back. You know, we, we knew what we had to do. We got our eyes on the prize, and and we came through with the win. Now, you've been on quite a streak here. It's your sixth straight game with a touchdown. How has it been for you to have so much success so far this year? You know, honestly, i got to hand it over to the, guy, the other ten guys on the field. Our line is doing great. You know, they give our great quarterback, Tyler Fenty, enough time back there. And, you know, I'm just doing my 111th.